Hey guys, Mike here from uh, Just Car People Things, uh, sharing with you my uh, new Christmas gift that I just got. And uh, it's not just one of these, it's actually a whole bunch of them. And these are uh, made uh, in the US, uh, they're, they're from a company Snaplock. Uh, they're a race deck type material. Race deck makes garage track and several other products. And this is one of them. Uh, so I get them online and I had, from a previous house that I lived in, I had probably about 700 square feet of it or so, um, which fills our thousand square feet about three quarters full. So uh, I got to do some reorganization here and some moving around, but this is kind of part of the garage uh, stuff that we've been working on and talking about. So uh, we went out and uh, for Black Friday, uh, they had a pretty decent sale on this stuff and managed to score it down to about 225 or so a square foot. Uh, and I needed about three to 400 square feet. I did order a little bit extra just to be extra safe. Um, and, you know, obviously I'm going to be removing some of uh, some of the tiles that are here as well that uh, aren't in the pattern and kind of getting the pattern right. Because I had some extras before and wanted to try to build it towards the door. So uh, what happens is you order online. Uh, I ordered these from a company called Big Floors and uh, they are out of Colorado. Again, made in the US product, really like it. The existing tiles that are here have held up. Uh, they're a little dirty right now and I haven't really vacuumed in here. It's something I kind of need to do before I go throw a ton more tiles down. Um, but you can see they've held up very, very well, daily use, salt, snow, garbage, oil changes, you name it. Uh, water does flow down through the cracks of it fairly well. You can get the flow through tiles too that look more like a mesh. On the back of it, when you look at it this way, you may notice that there's actually channeling and this is elevated above with the pattern on it. So when it sits on the ground, there's a level of space underneath it that in turn allows water to flow through. And then we've got a slight slope in here, which allows that water to flow through out towards the garage doors. So it kind of works out pretty well. Uh, you can cut this product as well. You can cut it with a, a saw. Uh, any, any type of saw will buzz right through it, almost like melt the plastic and chew right through it. It's pretty easy to cut through. Uh, but hopefully you won't need to do too much of that. I do have to cut the tiles that are way over here on the edge. But uh, basically what happens is uh, you go through and you just sort of snap them down. There's really not much to them. So when you look at this, um, it really is is pretty easy. And I'll give an example of a place where I need to put one more of these down, actually a bunch more down. See, I ran out of tiles right here. So basically you come in, you line your pattern up correctly, and you just set them down onto the other ones and you just go whack. And that's pretty much it. So that's all snapped together. If you want to lift it off, you just kind of almost tear it like a sheet of paper and it'll zipper right off there, which is really cool. If you've got a tile that's fully surrounded by other tiles, like say you wanted to just remove this tile right here, you actually just use a putty knife. I know that sounds really crazy to say that, but the way that these edges work, when you look at these tiles and you look at the edges here, if you slide a putty knife in there, you can actually bend that away from the snap on the other side. And these ship to you in two by two squares, so four tiles, and they've got a, a lower price for the boxes of 48 square feet, which is, uh, I've got four of here, so there's about 200 square feet of uh, tiles here, plus a few extra in blue to do the accents, um, but that lets us finish out our project in here. We kind of counted them all up and did a little accounting of this. Um, but you can take a, a big chunk like this and uh, you can look at it and say, okay, I need you know, another tile there. I need another couple tiles here. And you can basically just walk in and just thwack that right down on the ground. So an example of that, this is my uh, Lamborghini Trofeo cup footrest that we were watching a hockey game here the other night, hanging out in the garage. And uh, you know, you basically just come in, see where your pattern's at. Again, you just set it right down into place. And just give it a good, you don't even have to hit it that hard, it just sort of snaps right together. So this will uh, let us build out the remainder of the pattern in here. It's something I'm really excited about. We're gonna move a lot of this junk and building project stuff and throw stuff away. Um, I've been trying to clean and organize in the garage here for a while now and really make this feel like kind of the show place that it actually is. And uh, it's part of the long-term plan to really make this into a super awesome, you know, race car and fun stuff shop and uh, we'll go from there on it. But anyway, just wanted to kind of show you the product, um, tell you I've had very good luck with it. The only uh, kind of downside to it is you can damage it if you 
Say you're a welder, for example, you do a lot of welding or do a lot of work on really hot stuff. You can, of course, melt one of these tiles. They are very easy to replace, but uh, in that scenario, if you're someone who does a lot of metal work, a lot of welding, that sort of thing, I would tell you that a traditional epoxy finish floor would probably be a better idea. I shied away from it for a little bit for a couple reasons. Epoxy is a super cool product. If you do it right, especially if you have a, a real pro do it, it can look amazing, but it's also expensive. If you want a real pro to do it, um, it gets really pricey. There's actually a, a, a business almost kind of across the street from me, really like probably a, a mile down the road uh, that does this. I know one of the people there that works there, they came over, they gave me like the friends and family quote on it. It was about $5 a square foot, maybe a little bit more. This product on sale, closer to 250 a square foot. So literally half the price when you're doing a thousand square feet, you know, $5,000, kind of a big number to swallow. A couple thousand dollars, you can piece it in together over time. You don't have to do it all at once. You can shop for sales. That seemed like a little bit better of a shake for me. The initial layout of the product is actually pretty straightforward. Let me just squeeze through here because I moved all this stuff back out of the way so I can put the tiles in. Just pulled the, the summers off our 1LE. You'd come in, you lay the long run across, you lay the long run up, you make sure everything's squared up, and then you just start building across as you go in the direction you prefer to go. So you can kind of do it in any which way. There's easier ways to do it um, based on patterning and everything else, but I really love it. And um, you know, this floor in particular is pretty gross, pretty dirty. We park our daily driver car here. It drips a lot of water out of it. Um, I have a couple flow through tiles uh, used for like if I wash the car or it's snowy and slushy and that just lets kind of stuff accumulate down below the actual tile itself. It's got good traction. You can see I'm wearing shoes here. You know, even when wet, you can still get pretty good purchase on this diamond plate pattern. Um, this is a, basically a race deck type product. The one thing I would suggest to you is, is going to a company that's pretty well known, uh, a Swiss track. Uh, Swiss Tracks, a race deck, uh, snap, something made by Snaplock, which is race deck's parent company. Um, that will allow you to come back in, and if you do ever ding anything up or break anything or whatever else, you can go back out and get replacements for it, um, which is kind of a nice solution. So you can see like we, where we park our car every day. If I ever need to clean this floor and get it back to looking factory new, I take Dawn dishwashing soap, I lay out lines of it on the ground, Hit it lightly with the hose. I've got like a push broom scrub brush. You hit it with the scrub brush, it'll look almost new uh, pretty much instantly. Just the second it dries, it'll look brand new. So this is really dirty right now, but I wanted to see it. I'm super pumped about getting all this stuff in the mail. It just came and uh, we're really uh, excited to be able to go out and uh, finish this floor and probably show you a little bit more um, as I work through kind of the process of how it'll all look. When you get a tile like this, um, you can see the breakaway on it, that lets you just pop it out right there, and that will pop up. And then the same thing will happen back here. And again, it's just like almost like tearing a piece of paper, and you come back through, you give it a good whack, that pops that off. Now this uh, color uh, doesn't match our pattern. This piece should actually be right about there, but uh, we can throw that guy, one, two, three. Let me make sure I'm getting my one, two, three. So I'm short one, so the way that'll look, is that will actually go right there. That guy's down and in. So again, the fourth one is gonna actually be a blue tile, which will uh, take a crack at this guy here. Compliments our friends at Benchmade. Look at that color match. Isn't that awesome? All right, so there's one of our blue tiles and that tile is gonna go right here and will be the end of that four by four box pattern. So we're gonna come through, we're gonna kind of keep building this out. Uh, I'll take a crack at getting a few more sections of it done tonight. Again, I gotta move a bunch of junk. I gotta throw a bunch of junk away. We're getting rid of that workbench, finished a tile project. Life has been insane. That being said, I wanted to share this with you guys. Wanted you to see the product, check it out, see how it looks, see how it wears. Those tiles that are sitting there are about four years old now and have been, been getting driven on almost every day. So. I think it's a product that can last for at least 10 to 15 years if you take decent care of it. And uh, it really makes your garage look complete. 
and dressed up and let you, you know, accent all your cool stuff. And I wanted the blue accents because I've got blue sports cars, um, but they make, geez, probably eight or 10 colors, uh, orange all the way from the, like a bright orange like this. Uh, they make a green, red, uh, the alloy, I've got black. Um, and I'm pretty happy. I, I actually think um, the lighter silver wears probably the best because it hides the dirt a little bit. It's just pretty easy to deal with and it's a little more traditional. But anyway, appreciate you guys tuning in. Appreciate you guys checking it out. I know this is a, kind of an off kilter video, but uh, uh, it's a neat product and uh, we're just super, super pumped to be able to, to show it and uh, hopefully get our garage not looking like dirty, dirty concrete, uh, which I was really afraid to epoxy. The previous owner of the uh, the garage actually did work on a heavy diesel truck in here, like a like diesel street sweepers and stuff. So some of the areas under the tile are super dirty. And I was really afraid, even with like a diamond grind, that it, that stuff would be so embedded in the underlying concrete that you'd really have adhesion problems with an epoxy. So that was part of the other reason I picked, uh, picked the tiles and stuck with the tiles when we moved here. But anyway, again, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys liking, subscribing. Happy to answer any questions about uh, this super cool product and um, you know share maybe the results in a in a week or two here when we get all this junk moved and uh, get all the, the new stuff put in. So cheers, guys. Have a great night.